A UCSD student left in a DEA holding cell for five days, admittedly by accident, is now out of the hospital and talking about his ordeal. He spoke exclusively one-on-one -on -one with our NBC's San Diego's Rory Devine. Rory? Well, Christine, the word he used a couple of times when he spoke with me, inconceivable. The question he is asking is one the DEA itself is asking. How could something like this have happened? The DEA calls it an accident and promises a full investigation. The word accident, I don't, I don't see how that is possible. Like, like everybody's, think, I have the same questions. I, I would like to know myself. Like, what? It's not like a hallway either. It's like a round room. You know, with rooms around it, so there are people in the middle being able to see the peripheral and all that. So it, does, it doesn't make sense to me at all. 23-year-old Daniel Chong says he was left in a 5 by 10 by 10 holding cell. No food, no water. He drank his own urine to stay alive, he says. It happened at the DEA's headquarters in Kearney Mesa after Chong says he was detained, not arrested, during a drug raid at the home of a friend whom he was visiting. He was about to be released, he says, even offered a ride home when he says agents just forgot him. Left in darkness for days without water, he says he became incoherent. He was rushed to the ER at Sharp Hospital when finally, after five days alone in a cell, someone opened the door. That was when um, I really felt my life go. And for some reason, they heard me that time and turned on the light and found me. At first, I was just relieved to be alive 100%. Uh, but, you know, I started realizing what happened to me. They told me I was a kidney failure, but for me, I just, I couldn't focus my eyes. Um, I was pretty incoherent at the time too. And it's been a while, I mean, for without water and all that. After realizing what happened to me, I said, who would it be mad? If I were to tell you that in Abu Ghraib, somebody had been locked up in a cell for four and a half or five days without food or water, we would be shocked that even people suspected of terrorism were given such treatment. This was a young man who had done nothing wrong other than to have some uh, questionable association and to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. For its part, the DEA promises a full review and Chong says that's great. He wants some answers. He says he wants justice. Meantime, his attorney says he will be filing a claim against the DEA tomorrow. Reporting on Murray Devine, NBC7, San Diego.